Person will go help person not go stress out. That is a word from Portable. Right now, Portable is getting a lot, a lot of help right now. It's getting a lot of gifts, a lot of money right now. That is what I can really say. Remember that Portable jumped on a song with Skepta called Tony Montana. And that song is one of the biggest songs right now in UK based on charting and statistics we're getting right now. And you need to understand that Skepta has allegedly announced that he's going to give all revenues to Portable on that song. Despite he spent his money in making the music video of that song and also producing that song to an extent. That is what the news is all about. A person of Skepta is worth over $20 million and this guy is a Nigeria UK artist and this guy is saying that Portable, I want to use this to uplift you. And now the words of Portable is coming to play. I kind of understand about the positive uh, you know, power of words. That is something I can understand from Portable. Remember that Portable has has been calling himself superstar but he became superstar and more superstar right now based on the feature and collaborations he had with Skepta. That song is already 1 point something million on YouTube and the views is going ahead up high and Portable is so excited about that. What is your own take about that story? I want you to put that in the comment section. American rapper Mick Mills is complaining about America. He talked about illegal immigrants fooling the street of America and talked about you know guns, automatic guns, you know flooding the streets of America and saying that if you want to be safe out there in the street of America, you have to strap on. You have to either wear your vest and then carry your arms. That is what it is. And vowed to take a second citizenship in Ghana. Do you think he can get it? And a lot of people are saying with some few buttons out there and your money, you can really get a citizenship in Ghana. That is what it is. And this guy is really tired of US. But somebody has come out to ask a question and say, yes, still the US make you rich and right now you are forbidding the country. That is what somebody is saying. But you have to be safe, especially when you are rich to understand. That is something I kind of understand. This is not the first time we're getting a complaint from celebrity about uh, the US, um, you know, automatic guns filling the streets of US. A lot of people being shot at daily. Ghana president delays anti LGBTQ policy. That is what it is right now. The bill is out there. But you need to understand that you cannot collect somebody's money and say, I don't want to be friends with you. That is something you need to understand. You are collecting money from these persons and you don't want to be friends with them. These people may lose about $3 billion um, you know, World Bank's funding as a result of anti LGBTQ bill. Uh, Ghana, you have to retrace your step on this and you have to, you know, go and brainstorm and understand the implication of you passing that harsh, you know, bill on these persons. That is what I can really say at the time. What is your own take about this? I want you to put that in the comment section. Yes, Israel DNW was on a live interview with a person of Daddy Freeze and talked about his failed marriage and a lot of people are saying Israel you have to you know shove it down your throat you have to be quiet about it you don't have to talk about it I kind of understand men like Israel those guys they live longer than ordinary people that is something you need to understand because they instead of them to bottle up something they express it and let it go like that and when you bottle up something you get to a climax where you become suicidal that is one thing israel is trying to avoid with this whole thing i kind of understand the society stance uh, in this uh, marriage thing and when it comes out a lot of people are quick to blame the men and talk about them and say they should bottle it up enough of this bottle up because when you read statistics out there you will understand that the number of men committing suicide the number of men die from you know heart failures and the rest is triple that of 
women that is something you need to understand and this health issue is related or this issue or problem is related to the situations these men find themselves in us and some countries you know our child support has been an opportunity for most women they are ready to drag you to court when they get pregnant for you they have a baby for you you become an investment automatically and that is what the court has made it and a lot of things we have to understand that yes if we want to see men last longer in life we need to allow them to express and one thing you need to also understand is yes you know a good woman will actually make a good home a bad woman will destroy the home and complain about it and the society especially these gen z's they are really really interested in destroying the homes that is something i've kind of studied over time based on the things i've seen on social media what is your own take about this story israel dnw complained about a lot of things many questions a lot of people are really asking because According to the story we gather to an extent, it said uh, this lady came out to say Israel, you are a boy boy to Davido. But he was a boy to Davido before you got married, and Davido even attended your own marriage uh, 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 to an extent. And you are really complaining about I I think we should allow some persons to express themselves. That is the only way they can stay alive. When they bottle it up, this guy can really commit suicide and we start asking questions. What did happen? What did happen? What did happen? We don't know. We don't know. You know, that was how Mobad bottled up a lot of issues. And when it happened, a lot of people are now saying that if he had known, he would have just expressed it, talked about it so that we can really assist him. That is something we need to allow this man to talk. Bonner boy hilariously warned a fan to smile always or you lose your girlfriend to me. Just like what happened at the concert of Omale in UK. I think right now a lot of people can understand that Bonner boy is still a funny guy to understand. Though uh, Bonner boy uh, is still uh, a stubborn nigga but you know he can joke to understand. That is what I can really understand from this whole thing. Let's catch a peep. So tell me why these guys been looking at me like this the whole show. Huh? Did I put an anomaly on your game? Because I can't. So start smiling more before you lose your Guys, what are your own takes about the story? I want you to put that in the comment section. Understand that we have a lot of things going on and yesterday, Instagram and Facebook actually logged the users out and a lot of people are complaining right now of not being able to log back. While some other persons are saying, you know what, you know, Instagram and Facebook, they are really, really overwhelmed right now. And Elon Musk came out to mock Mark Zuckerberg on this particular issue. And a lot of people are getting to understand that, yes, you know, to understand we can have, you know, some technical glitches and then uh, quickly resolved. But if to say that Nigeria, you know, if Nepa or your transformer blew, Nepa to repair Amigo take time more, that is what a lot of people are saying that, yes, you know, we really appreciate Mark Zuckerberg for making this a reality and being able to solve it within few hours of this issue happening. On this, what is your own take about my story so far? I want you to put that in the comment section. You can go and check me out on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram and be a part of our daily conversation. I love you guys. Keep supporting Afrobeat blog across social media platforms.